Shalom, I want to give a praise on the glory to help us in how shy by Shimra Kakadash and the honest and the and apostles of great Muslim and told me truth and peace, blessing, and citations to the whole for let. And um, yeah, man, like it says, earthquake over 50k dead in Turkey and Syria, UNICEF alarm, thousands of children in desperate conditions. And this just shows him, man, <laughs> the Lord is the Lord's still turning up, man. So just imagine during the time of Jacob's trouble, a time like never before. Imagine how the law is going to be executing judgment in those times. Oh, it's absolutely crazy, man. And I've noticed it used to be the Israelites getting put to death in the thousands. Now these heathens are gone through it too. Like when, when have we ever seen the heathens being judged like this? When? And the question, well, the answer is, we haven't. <clears throat> and it just seems to me um, that our enemies are going through these curses too. Enemies. Deuteronomy 30 and 7, it says, And the Lord Yahweh, thy power, will put all these curses upon thine enemies and on them that hate thee, which persecuted thee. And who persecuted us, man? <laughs> the nations, it makes mention of that in um, Psalms, the 83rd chapter. Psalms 83rd, 83. And one, it says, Keep not thy silence, O, o power. Hold not thy peace and be not still, O power. For lo, thine enemies make a tumult. And they that hate thee have lifted up the head. So they've become proud. And it says, They have taken crafty counsel against thy people and consulted against thy hidden ones. And so looking for the noise, the, the washing machines on. <clears throat> and it says, And the, and the, hidden, and the hidden ones are the Israelites. And it says, They have said, Come and let us cut them off from being a nation, that the name of Israel may be no more in remembrance. And... They've, they've done that man they've done it and you're probably thinking oh where in the scriptures does it, does it, does it mention that in Jeremiah 17 and 4 it says and thou even thyself shall discontinue from thine heritage that I gave thee and I will cause thee to serve thine enemies in the land which thou knewest not for you have kindled a fire in my anger and which shall burn forever so yeah man they succeeded in cutting off the remembrance of the children of Israel. <clears throat> and that was by way of um, bringing us into captivity, man. And helping Esau, Edom scatter us. As it makes mention in Joel 2 and 3, man. Yeah, Joel 3 and 2 says, I will also gather all nations and I will bring them down into the valley of Yahweh Shapat and will plead with them there for my people and for my heritage Israel, whom they have scattered among the nations and part in my land. So there you go, man. So they did this. And it says, For they have consulted together with one consent, they are confederate against thee. So you see, there was on one accord when they did this. This is the tabernacles of Edom. And the tabernacle just meaning the house of Edom, being we all know who the Edomites are, and it says on the Ishmaelites being the Arabs, of Moab, being um, the Chinese, and the Hagarenes, Gabal and Ammon, going into um, the Japanese and Amalek, the grand the grandson of um, Esau, which is still basically Esau Edom, and that just shows you man, the the Israelis had a hand also in the um the captivity of the Israelites man that's why literally they're mentioned twice it says the Philistines with the inhabitants of Tyree going into those Hamite nations and it says a sir and it says a sir also is joined with them they have hoping the children of Lot Salah and yeah man these, these nations have come together to, to to destroy us, man. And the Lord's gonna put those curses like a like a red upon our enemies, man. The ones that persecuted us, being these heathen nations, man. 
Now going back to this article, it says, uh, it's lucky I was just looking at the time for the um, for a washing machine. There's like five minutes left until it stops. It says a death toll from the devastating earthquake that struck a region between Turkey and Syria on the 6th of February exceeded 50k. This is what emerges from data provided by the authorities of the two countries. <clears throat> and then it goes into 44,000 <clears> or 44,218 confirmed dead in Turkey according to the Anadolu news agency. So, did, so the, this is confirmed man. All these people are dead now. It says which city is the Turkish agency responsible for disaster management and 5.9k confirmed dead at the moment in Syria. There have been 9,000 aftershocks since February 6th according to the Turkish state channel TRT in Turkey alone. And it says um, 500 or 530k people were evacuated from the disaster area. And we know who executes these judgments, man. Yeah, how about some how shy? Let me read it from the Psalms. Psalms 105 and 7. It says, He is the Lord Yahweh, our power. His judgments are in all the earth. And you know what? Let me carry on reading. It says, He has remembered his covenant forever. The word which he commanded to a thousand generations, which covenant he made with Abraham and his oath unto Isaac, and confirmed the same unto Jacob for a law and to Israel for an everlasting covenant. And the reason why he made mention Jacob and Israel is because Jacob being the, the, the progenitor of the 12 tribes and Israel being the descendants of Jacob, man, the, the sons of Jacob. <clears throat> Basically being the Tau tribes. So there you go, man. Mm. So okay, I'm... Yeah, where was I gonna go? Psalm 16 and 20 says, He that is our power is the power of salvation. And unto the power being Yahweh, the Lord belong the issues from death. And that's also includes Yahweh Shai too, because he's the one who's executing judgment, man. All power has been given to him in heaven and earth. Yeah, Matthew 28 and 18, it says, and Yahweh Shai came and spake unto them, saying, All power is given unto me in heaven and in earth. Hence why when those die, the seed are anointed, man, being Yahweh Shai. Yeah, 2 Corinthians 5 and 10 It says For we must all appear before the judgment seat Of the anointed That everyone may receive the things done In his body According to that he have done Whether it be good or bad So you see huh, One minute left One minute left Until this washing machine stops Oh man But yeah like I may mention Yahweh Shai is the one who's executing judgment now. Mm. Just like it may mention in um, the book of John. John 5. John 5 and 25. It says, Verily, verily, I say unto you that hour is coming and now is when the dead shall hear the voice of the Son of God and they that hear shall live. For as the Father have life in himself, so have he given the son to have life in himself and have given him authority to execute judgment also because he is the son of man so you see the authority has been given to Yahweh Shai to execute these judgments hence why I made mention of um, G.O.D you know what, let me get it 
yeah like you mentioned it has the god in capitals being Yahweh and also the lord being in an uppercase L and a lowercase ORD being Yahweh Shai <clears throat> and like I made mention all power was given unto Yahweh Shai man and also to execute judgment which this is this is Yahweh Shai is doing man <clears throat> and you know what let me get second first Samuel First Samuel 2 and 6 It says the Lord Yahweh killeth and maketh alive He bringeth down to the grave and bringeth up So yeah man it's the Lord that did this man All glory and honour and praises Go see how about Shem how shy man The one that did this And it says earthquake in Turkey The courage of two nurses Instead of fleeing they protect newborns in intensive care <sighs> And that just reminds me of another scripture. Um, what was it again? Oh man. Yeah, I've forgotten it, man. It, it came into my head. Oh, yeah, that was it. So, how do you help us in house shine, man? Isaiah 29 and 6 it says, Thou shalt be visited of the Lord Yahweh of hosts with thunder and with earthquake. And great noise with storm and tempest and the flame of devouring fire. So this was the Lord's doing, man. He has visited these <clears throat> these heathens, man, that are living in Turkey, which are the majority of them are Ishmaelites and Edomites, man. Hmm. I don't think I need to read this to be honest. Damn. It says UNICEF, UNICEF fears many thousands of children have been killed. Even without verified numbers, it is tragically clear that the number will continue to grow. UNICEF, the UNICEF spokesman denounces in a statement um, in Turkey the total number of children having, so like the total number of children living in the 10 providences affected by the two earthquakes was 4.6 million. Damn. And all those children affected now. <clears throat> and, that, and that reminds me of... um, Yeah. Hmm. It's okay. But, um... Yeah, Turkey. We know that, um... That Russia... <laughs> It makes mention in Isaiah chapter 13 that literally they would have no pity upon the fear of the women being pregnant women and that I shall not spare children. So I imagine if Russia was against Turkey, they would have no problem destroying their children <laughs> in that time. Oh, what is going on here? I'm time to start off again. But, um... Yeah, but we know what the scriptures say. That um, yeah, there we go. It's done. So yeah, we know what the scriptures say about Turkey. They're going to be joined onto Russia, man. And <laughs> literally, Turkey, if not not Turkey, um, Russia is going to have an evil eye towards these Edomites living in Babylon, or should I say, the inhabitants of Babylon, man. And their children will be dashed to pieces before their eyes. And also pregnant women and dashed to pieces. <clears throat> and not only that, but the scriptures do make mention of this man. Ezekiel 38. And so, it says, Be thou prepared and prepare for thyself, thou and all thy company. <sighs> thou art assembled unto thee, and be thou guard unto them. So if Russia is gonna be in that mindset of um having no pity, doesn't that mean these other nations will feel the same way? Since Russia will be preparing with them. <clears throat> Cause like it also makes mention in verse 10. Is it thus saith the Lord God, it shall come to pass. 
It shall also come to pass, so like, yeah, that at that same time shall things come into thy mind, and thou shalt think an evil thought. So yeah, man, it's, it's, it's nothing for the Lord to execute judgment upon children. And like if it's mentioned as well, man. It's in the book of Numbers. Third and fourth. Hopefully that's about four for it. I guess not. Oh. Mm. Mm. Numbers 14 and 18, it says, The Lord Yahweh by Shemhah Shah is long suffering and great and of great mercy, forgiving iniquity and transgression, and by no means clearing the guilty, visiting the iniquity of the fathers upon the children unto the third and fourth generation. And that's when basically the, the spirit those spirits get um reincarnated. Not reincarnated. Yeah, reincarnated. Yeah. I got mixed up with regeneration, but yeah, they'll be reincarnated, which reincarnation is basically um your spirit getting put into a new body and you're basically coming back through the womb or basically being born back on the earth and regeneration is basically being risen up in that same body that you was in, man. <clears throat> and that's going to happen to people, man. Especially when the Lord needs to execute judgment on those that have already taken the MOT, being have already died. <laughs> Literally, they're going to come back alive and they're going to be judged, man. <clears throat> but yeah, let me carry on. It says, in Syria, 2.5 million children are affected. Children and families are in desperate need of additional support. Many of our local partner organizations, staff and first, re and first responders were killed. Damn. Wow. <laughs> wow. I wasn't expecting to to come across that. But let me read it again. It says in Syria, 2.5 million children are affected. Children and families are in desperate need of additional support. Many of our local partners, organizations, staff and first responders were killed, injured, displaced, and their offices and equipment destroyed. Everyone everywhere needs more support, safer water, more heat, more shelters, more meds, more funds. He says, families and children sleep on the street, in shopping malls, schools, mosques, but stations and under bridges. Stay with children in open spaces for fear of going home and without being able to assess the structural damage and potential impact of likely aftershocks. Well, that's the thing, man. <laughs> Well, what is them, their God doing? Well, how come their God can't protect them from these things? They like to say that their God's just so amazing and their God is so real. Then why is he letting these things happen to his people? <laughs> and then again... John 4 and 22, it says, Ye worship, ye know not what. We know what we worship, for salvation is of the, the Jews, man. <clears throat> and it says, But the hour cometh, and now is, when the true worshippers shall worship the Father in spirit and in truth. For the Father seeketh such to worship him. God is the spirit, and they that worship him must worship him, worship him in spirit and in truth. So there you go, man. I'm sure there's another one. You might be in Deuteronomy. Living. Hmm. Oh, yeah, that's it. That's it. Ah, uh, here we go, here we go. Psalms 96 and 5, it says, For all the gods of the nations are idols, but the Lord Yahweh, Bashim HaOshai, made the heavens. So there you go, man. 
as David had have said. But apparently these Muslims they they believe in King David, and that he is a prophet. And this 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 is this isn't written in the Psalms, man. Written by David. <laughs> oh man. Where was that? And it says um. Yeah. <sighs> It says this means tens of thousands of families are exposed to the elements at a time of year where temperatures are very low and snow and freezing rain are frequent. News about the number of children suffering from hypothermia and respiratory infections is increasing every day. So the Lord executing more judgment is visiting these children, man. And let me just quickly read through this because I don't want to waste any more of your time. I'm going to read it in my head because it's faster. Wow. Hmm. Well, apparently it says here, it says, given the catastrophic... Cast, cast, it's like, yeah, I'm getting tongue-tied, man. Catastrophic number of deaths always increasing it is clear that many children have lost their parents in these devastating earthquakes continues alda in the in turkey unicef in coordination with the ministry of family and social services so imagine that one minute you, one minute you have a family and next thing you know you don't have a family no more imagine you're just the only child left you're the only one that survived in the family wow that's gonna affect them mentally man And it says, um, you know, let me quickly read through it. Yeah, that's basically it, man. So the Lord's, the Lord's still executing judgment on these people. The Lord's still doing it, man. The Lord has, the Lord hasn't stopped. And the Lord won't stop until he's performed the intents of his heart, man. And I close on that. Jeremiah 30 and 24. It says the fierce anger of the Lord Yahweh but Shem shall not return until he, he have done it and until he have performed the intent of his heart. In the latter days you shall, you shall consider it. And yeah man, this being the latter days, literally we can see judgments going out left and right man. Literally I go on the, I go on the news on my, on my phone and there's always someone dying man, literally. It's, it's literally common for someone to die now. Literally, I've seen like three or four articles of people dead in a few hours. Literally, people are dying every day, man. And soon it's just going to reach that point where thousands are going to be dying every day. And we know that's going to be the time of Jacob's trouble, a time like never before. But yeah, man, I hope this was edifying. I want to give all praise and glory to you. How about some? I'll share. And shalom, man.